everyone. So today we're going to read chapter one. So this is called The Decent Club. This is chapter one. It's late afternoon and the sun is starting to set outside. Fernando enters the house using a key that he got in his first year of middle school when he became a latchkey kid. Fernando is a medium skin tone boy with a pompadour hairstyle highlighted with blue and dark brown eyes. Fernando's face is round. Fernando's face is rather thin, but not to the point that cheekbones stick out all the way. Fernando has very large eyes and they seem to look into your soul. Fernando's nose is rather short along the bridge and small. Fernando's lips have a bit of a pout, but not over overly pouty. Fernando's jaw is rather pointed. Fernando has a thick eyebrows. Fernando is wearing a white shirt with golden cross on it that says, Real Christians go to church, jeans with holes in the knees, and old paint splattered sneakers that have frayed laces. Luca is sitting in a light blue beanbag chair. Luca there is cheddar cheese dust covering his fingers and mouth. Luca is a pale Japanese uh, Japanese boy with short boy style black hair highlighted with orange. Luca's bangs are up in a puffy style and stick up above his forehead. Luca has light brown eyes. Luca has a bit of a fat in his cheeks, but not to the point of a newborn, but just enough fat in his cheeks that people can tell that he is underage at first glance. Luca has dimples when he smiles. Uh, Luca's lips are rather thin, but he's okay with that. Luca's eyes are slanted, but they were, but they seem to get round when he's worried or nervous. Luca has a square-like chin. Luca's brows are a bit thinner than Fernando's, but still rather thick. Luca is wearing a green shirt that says, that has, with a purple baby dinosaur on it that says, Proud to live in America. Black jeans with t with tiny holes near the ends. And blue Velcro sneakers. Luca is an exchange student that lives with Fernando as an exchange brother. Fernando likes being a host brother. But sometimes he worries that Luca takes life too seriously. And has problems going with the flow of of the current. Luca appears to be fast asleep in the beanbag chair. Luca, wake up, exclaimed Fernando. Please. Five more minutes, said Luca. No, get up now, Luca, explained Fernando. Why? You're late for a corporate meeting. What? asked Luca. Come on, hurry up before you make both of us late, explained Fernando. All right, fine. Fernando opens the door to a gaming room in the house like a gentleman. Go on. Go on in after you, sir said Fernando. Luca rolls his eyes. Luca and Fernando walk inside the room. It is a blank white room with nothing at all inside that until Fernando wakes up the room with a commanding voice. Wake up, Jamie, exclaimed Fernando. A sun rises from the floor to the center of the room. The sun opens his eyes to reveal an anime-style eyes. Sun opens his mouth to speak, looking directly at Fernando and Luca. Good afternoon, Fernando and Luca. How may I help you? Your imagination soar today. I want you to bring to life a corporation called I Care About a Man. I Care About Life LLC. Explained Fernando. I'll do as you wish. Explained Amy. Sun turns the room into a corporate office. The room is lime green with blue rugs and a red table with many yellow chairs. There are pictures of Fernando and Luca on the wall. Marked under the pictures are the titles of corporate president for Fernando and corporate vice president for Luca. Is there anything else you need? Asked Yemi. 
I would like that Luke and I be dressed in complimentary suits for the meeting we are about to have. I'll do as you wish. Fernando is now wearing a dark blue suit that is darker than the rug, which is a light blue. Fernando has a dark green button-down dress shirt with a white tie. Fernando work shoes are purple. Fernando sits down in his seat at the head of the table. Luca is now dressed in a bright orange suit. Luca also wearing a red button-down shirt and black tie. Luca's shoes are golden. Luca's hands and face are free of cheese dust, at least for the, t for the time being. Luca sits down at the other end of the table. I've noticed that your work has been slacking lately, said Fernando. I Yes, I know that I have been slacking, said Luca. What have you to say for yourself? Asked Fernando. I just don't know what to think anymore, said Luca. Why is that? Everyone seems to be lying to me about, well, who they are. So it's hard to be myself when I don't know who anyone else truly is, said Luca. Well, Luca, you can't tell other people. You can't let other people decide who you are because... You are a corporate boss, and not just any corporate boss. You are the corporate boss of I Care About Laugh Life Laughing Loudly Company. I thought LLC stood for Limited Liability Company, said Luca. It does. I just like to think that it stands for Laughing Loudly Company, because, well, that sounds more fun, doesn't it? It does sound more fun, said Luca. Come on, laugh with me. I don't think I can. Why can't you laugh? It's hard to explain, said Luca. Luca, I'm your host corporate boss, which means that you can tell me anything. Oh, okay, said Luca. What's on your mind, said Fernando. I don't like that Drake and Warren are gay together, said Luca. Why don't you? I don't think that the gay lifestyle is right. I don't think that Drake and Warren should be gay at all. No one chooses to be gay. They're just gay from the start, said Fernando. I think they're just confused. We should help them get straight again. Fernando face palms and Luca at Luca's last comment. We can't turn them straight again because they just came out and no one knew they were gay until middle school honors dinner dance. I think we should create a homosexual heterosexual alliance, said Fernando. Do you have to call it the homosexual heterosexual alliance? asked Luca. Well, I guess we could call it the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Alliance, said Fernando. I don't like that name either, said Luca. Then what should we call our alliance club, said Fernando. I'm not sure if we should start an alliance club like that at all, said Luca. Why? I just don't want to create a club that supports... Oh, that supports guys having sex in the butt, all right? Maybe we should create a club that that was not focused on homosexuality, but a club that was focused on helping people learn tech and not be total jerks, explained Fernando. I like that idea. We could call it the Decent Club, explained Luca. Luca, I was kidding. This club could be amazing, Fernando. We got to start a Decent Club. All right, I'll give it a chance. The power goes out and they both fall on the floor and their clothes are back to being casual. Luca's fingers and face are back to being covered in cheese, cheddar cheese dust. I guess it's bedtime. Why does your dad always turn the power off before bed? He just doesn't want us to stay up too late. We'll talk to Principal Ego tomorrow about our club idea. Okay, good night, Fernando. Good night, Luca. They go to prin they go to the principal's office. Principal Ego is sitting in his chair. Principal Ego is a pale dwarf with black hair. Highlighted with Red, striking red pinwheel eyes and fangs that hang out of his mouth. Principal Ego has a nose that is short in the bridge and rather upturned. Principal Ego has a round chin. Principal Ego has thin lips. Principal Ego's eyes are so round that they seem to stick out of his head a bit. Principal Ego has thin eyebrows. Principal Ego is wearing a black, um, wearing a black suit, blue shirt, black tie, black professor style shoes luca and fernando are wearing the same clothes as the day before as they were too excited to pick out different clothes that morning we're here to create a club explained luca what kind of club do you young men want to create asked principal eagle i want to create a decent club explained luca what do you consider a decent club asked principal eagle the name of our club is decent explained luca 
Okay, but why do you, do you call it a decent club? Explained Eagle. S. Eagle. It's a club to help people learn to use sticky tack or thumbtacks and stop being jerks. Explained Luca. Actually, it's a club about conversational tack, said Fernando. What is conversational tack? Asked Luca. Conversational tack is the ability to listen and respond to conversations without saying something inappropriate or unnecessary. Also means thinking about what you want to say and asking people questions when you don't understand, said Fernando. I don't think I have any tack, said Luca. That's okay. Most kids in high school don't. And it's normal to just blurt out whatever you are feeling, said Principal Eagle. Then why do we have to learn tack, asked Luca. You have to learn tack to not hurt others' feelings, said Principal Eagle. For example, if I were to walk up to a lady and say, hey, you got a big butt. I would be a total jerk and she would hit me in the face or cry, depending on the lady. That made me feel bad. But once you say something, you can't take it back. So the so it's important to ignore your inappropriate thoughts and say something positive or not say anything at all. I think I understand, said Luca. Good. I personally think the, the group that the two of you invented would be beneficial to the school. Principal Eagle stamps the group approved. You can host a meeting in the art room, said Principal Eagle. Thank, thanks, Principal Eagle. Yeah, thanks, Principal Eagle. You're welcome. I look forward to seeing the great things you accomplish. Our first meeting was in the art room. I think we should all introduce ourselves, just in case someone here happened to forget the names of someone else here. That's so lame, said Lolita. Or, yeah, Lolita. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm really tired. I should know my characters' names. Hello, I'm Fernando. I have a lot of tact. I like meeting new people, and someday I want to travel the world, explained Fernando. Hello, I'm Luca. I don't have a lot of tact, but I hope that someday I will have some. Are you really here to learn about tact? asked Lolita. Lolita, a pale blonde-haired girl with pink streaks as well as pink hair bangs and bright green eyes stares at Luca unimpressed. Lolita has big round eyes. She has narrow cheeks to the point that you can almost see her cheekbones. Lolita has pouty lips, but not super pouty, but, but enough to make her look cute when she pouts. Lolita has a nose that short on the bridge and small. Lolita has overly thick eyebrows, overly thick eyelashes, and thin eyebrows. Lolita was born with curly hair, but straightens it because in middle school, mean girls like Morgan told her that her curls looked looked, looked bad. Lolita has a square chin, which guys tend to tell her looks manly, but she ignores comments like that. Her hot pink vest is buttoned to the second button. She has on a long, light pink skirt with sequin trim. Her skirt is made of black leather with long skirt underneath to make it pink. Lace. Made out of pink lace. Her belt is a rainbow. She has pink flats and fishnet stockings. Her hair is tied in a half pony with a lacy hard skull ball. Yeah, I like learning, said Luca. You know, Luca, you're kind of dumb, said Lolita. I'm not dumb. Then why don't you know anything, asked Lolita. I know a lot of things, asked Lu explained Luca. Like what? I know how to fight and play video games, said Luca. Do you know how to have sex, asked Lolita. I kind of have an idea about how to have sex, said Luca. Are you a virgin? I like girls, said Luca. Well, are you or are you not one? I like boobs, said Luca. It's a simple question with a simple answer. Have you done the deed? Well, no, I haven't done that. You're pathetic. You know, if I had a body like yours, I would have had sex with at least 20 girls by now. Be a man and grow up. Luca looks upset. Are you going to cry? No! Yell. You don't have to yell, said Lolita. Luca grabs Lolita by the shoulders. Luca looks in her eyes. I can't stand you, yelled Luca. Luca lets go of Lolita's shoulders. Luca runs off. Luca, please wait. 
yelled Fernando. Lolita, what what were you thinking? asked Warren. Warren is a very young looking boy. He looks like a grade schooler kid. He keeps his hair short mostly because of the dress code. Warren's hair is red and brown. Warren's eyes are bright electric blue. Warren has slightly chubby cheeks and a mole near the corner of each of his eyes. Warren's eyes are big and round. Warren has a pointed chin. Warren's nose is short on the bridge and small. Warren has long eyelashes and thick eyebrows. Warren has on jeans with paint splatters all over. Warren's shirt has a line on it that says proud and worrying. Warren shoes his puzzle pieces on them. Warren is wearing a bandana with penguins on it. Warren's socks are rainbow striped. Warren has a red leather belt. I was thinking about how fair, unfair the world is, said Lolita. Oh, okay. How is the world unfair? You know, we don't get to choose everything, said Lolita. You're just jealous of Luca, aren't you? Of course I'm not. I just, I just think I could do more as a boy than he ever could. I'm jealous of you, said Warren. You don't want to be me. Yes, I do. Lolita laughs. Okay, maybe you do. I'm cute, but my front tail gives me away, said Warren. Lolita laughs. I'm confused. Liz, a slightly sun-kissed girl with short pixie cut pink hair with purple highlights, stares at Lolita and Warren in a bewildered way. Liz's gray-blue eyes look into the world in an innocent, literal way. Liz has a condition called asymmetrical face, which causes one of her eyes to be round and the other to be a bit slanted. Bliss has a nose of a short bridge and and her nose is rather small. Bliss has thin lips and and takes a, a lot of effort for her to pout. Bliss has a rounded chin. Bliss has long eyelashes and thick eyebrows. Bliss is wearing a tee that says, Find the missing piece in the neurotypical's brain, not mine. Bliss is wearing a jean skirt with black shorts under, under it that are longer. Bliss has on a green belt. Bliss's shoes are Velcro purple tie-dye style sneakers. Socks with kittens on them peek out of her shoes. Bliss has tiny hearts in her earlobes. That's okay, I can help you with that, explained Lolita. Help me with what? Sylvia comes in. Never mind, forget I said, it, said that, said Lolita. Sylvia is a slightly sun-kissed, blonde-haired girl with green highlights in her hair. Sylvia has a thin face to the point that you can see a hint of her cheekbones, but not see them completely. Sylvia has round, dark blue eyes. Sylvia has a nose that is short bridge and is small, yet turned, in, turned up a bit at the tip. Sylvia has pouty, pouty lips. Sylvia chin is pointed. Sylvia has long eyelashes and thin eyebrows. She gives Lolita a dirty look that betrays her dark blue eyes that usually reflect the love for others. Sylvia is wearing her cheerleader uniform, which is covered in light blue waves. On the front of the top, it has the school letters TFK, which stands for Different Kindness High. I think it should be DFK. It should be something else. I don't know why... Sorry, that's a typo there. I'm sorry. The bottom and sides have white trim and so does her skirt. Sylvia's shoes are very... I'm noticing typos now that I'm reading this. The flipper sneakers that, she, that if she wasn't a cheerleader would get made fun of. But all the cheerleaders wear them. Hairs and pigtails and... The, that ever had that looks like a shark head of a shark so she has a hat that looks like the head of a shark why were you being mean to Luca asked Bliss I was just explaining that were you listen were you even listening I was but I still don't get why you don't like Luca well Luca he didn't do anything mean to you Sylvia has a huge crush on him, explained Bliss. Bliss smiled. Bliss! Why did you just tell the world that I had a crush on Luca? I didn't mean to, said Bliss. I didn't want anyone to know except you. Why? 
I want to be the one to tell him. Now that's not going to happen, said Sylvia. I'm not going to tell him that you like him, said Lilia. Me either, because I really don't care, said Drake. Drake is a dark-skinned boy with red and blue hair styled in a, in a fro and striking hazel eyes. Drake has a short bridge, nose, bridge on his nose. Drake's nose sticks out a bit more from his face, almost the size of a small cherry tomato. Drake has a square chin. Drake's eyes are more slanted. Drake... Drake's eyes, long lashes, and thick eyebrows. He's wearing a dark blue jeans and a red shirt that says, Don't mess with me in black letters and gray sneakers. I don't, I don't think it's anyone's business to tell him except you, said Warren. Bliss, I know you, you're an internet star, but you have to learn how to keep secrets. Yeah, I know. I have to live in the real world, said Bliss. You'll make another music video someday, right? asked Sylvia. Of course. I'll have a new music video very soon, explained Bliss. Good. Don't give up on your dreams. I won't. So what happened? How come you didn't make any music videos last summer? Well, Monique and Swag got discovered. They got their own recording contract. Sometimes I feel like there's no point in continuing to try because I wasn't picked by the recording company because they only wanted Monique and Swag. It must be hard when your friends stab you in the back like that. They didn't stab me in the back. Sure they did. You wanted, you were in their videos and helped write the songs. Then when they got picked for the big time, they dropped you instead of trying to get you into the business. They didn't turn down the offer when, when the recording company didn't want you. I told them they could sign up. I know how hard it is to get discovered, so I told them they could sign up. You're too nice. That's... And that's why you didn't make it. you got to grow a backbone. You need to get back out there before everyone forgets you exist. Bliss cries. Look what you did. Sylvia pats Bliss back. It's okay. You can take your time off if you need it. Bliss calms down. Luca, please wait. They yell Fernando. Luca stops running. Luca turns around. Fernando slams into him. They fall to the ground. Are you okay? asks Fernando. I'm fine. I just want to go home. I can understand that, but I think you should come back to the club room. Why should I? I'm not welcome there. This club is your club as much as mine. All right, I'll go back. They go back inside. I got Luca to come back, said Fernando. Let's get back to the introductions. I'm Warren. I don't have a lot of tact. I love boys. I love hugs. I love kisses. I love fashion. That's me in a nutshell, explained Warren. Why are you in a nutshell, asked Luca. I'm not. Then why did you say you were, asked Luca. In a nutshell means that's everything, said Warren. I still don't get it. I'm Drake, and I don't really think I need tack. I think tack is censorship. I think people should say whatever they want. Like last night, I masturbated because Warren wouldn't give me any, explained Drake. Drake, why did you just tell everyone that we're still virgins? I didn't. You did. Warren blushes. I'm Lolita. I don't have any tack. And I and I just have to, and I'm just here to hang out with Warren. Door opens. Sorry, I'm late, Fernando. Explained Cherish. That's okay. We're just starting introductions, said Fernando. Okay, I'm Cherish, said Cherish. We're here to talk about tack. Oh, right. I'm Cherish. I have lots of tack. I'm dating Fernando, and I love cotton candy. That's pretty obvious from your hair. My sister is so embarrassing, said Warren. Cherish is a mix of well, I'm not even sure. It's almost like she's a mix of every girl there is. Tan skin, long pastel blue hair with pastel pink and pastel purple highlights that reaches her knees. She has slightly chubby cheeks, but not to the point that they're cherub chubby. Just enough to make her look sweet. She has round golden eyes. Cherish's nose has a longer bridge, but not to the point that her nose reaches her mouth. Cherish's nose is the size of a strawberry with a upturned tip. Cherish has a pointy lips, but not overly pouty, but just enough that Cherish has a round chin. Cherish has long eyelashes and thin eyebrows. She is wearing a white dress that is short in the middle with a long tra train in the back and cute white high heel sandals that expose her golden painted toes and tie back with a ribbon. She's quite protective 
girl. No one is going to steal Fernando away from her anytime soon. I'm Sylvia, and I have some tact. I like modeling and having lots of friends. I'm Bliss, and I have a little tact. I like to sing, and I used to be an internet teen idol. But I'm not sure if I still want to be one, said Bliss. Tension students, club activities are over, exclaimed Principal Eagle. They walk home. Do you think our club has will have a chance? asked Luca. I think it will, as long as people keep coming, said Fernando. May I ask you something? Go ahead. Why are you so shy? asked Fernando. I'm not shy, explained Luca. Yes, you are. You hide in the bathroom stalls when everyone else changes for swimming. I just don't like I just don't like people staring at me, said Luca. That this might seem wrong, but when I first met you, I never thought you would be shy. Why would you think that? I was used to watching anime before I met you. No one was shy in anime. In anime, people are always running around naked and laughing about it. So I thought no one in Japan was shy. Anime is full of stereotypes, said Luca. So there are other people in Japan that are shy? Of course. It's just harder to be shy in Japan because, well, people think you're antisocial if you're shy. How do your friends handle it? None of my classmates understood. They used to just tell me not to be so shy. What would you tell them? I would tell them that I couldn't because that's just how I am. Then they would tell me I was ashamed of my body. I'm so I'm confused. Are you ashamed of your body? No, I'm not ashamed of my body. I'm just shy. I think it's okay to be shy. Yeah, at least no one will take naked pictures of me. True, but most people don't take naked pictures of others. They take naked pictures of themselves. I, do, I still don't understand why people do that. Me either. Sexing is kind of lame. If someone wants to get naked and put on and put on a show for you, they should do it in person, said Fernando. I agree. It's better in person. There's no funny filter eyes. They both laugh. They go inside and eat dinner. How was your first day of high school? Asked Nice. Fernando's mother, known as Nice Guapa, is of European descent. With blonde hair, she has... She has blue highlight on the one side and pink highlight on the other. Both highlights are braided. Her eyes are bright blue. Nice has a thin face and you can hint of her cheekbones. Nice nose is a longer bridge, but not to the point that her nose reaches her mouth. Nice has a nose that is the size of a strawberry with an upturned tip. Nice has very pouty lips. Nice has a pointed chin. Nice has long eyelashes and thin eyebrows. Today... Her wardrobe is rather bland, a light pink dress to the knees and a white apron with lace trim, though her gold heels show that many years ago she was quite fashion forward. It was good, said Fernando. Your father should be home from his business trip soon, said Nice Guapa. Okay, that's good to know, said Fernando. Mika picks at her food and stares at her plate. Mika is Fernando's little sister. Mika has a, has a light peach skin tone. She has brown hair with pink ombre tips as well as pink hair, hair, hair bangs. Mika usually styles her hair in twin tails. Mika has one blue eye and one brown eye. Mika has a short bridge nose that is the size of a cherry. She has thin lips and a round chin. Mika's face is slightly on the thin side, not to the point where you could see her, her bones, but to the point that her eyes seem very big. Mika has long eyelashes and medium thickness to her eyebrows. Medium is wearing a pink Lolita dress, purple tights, and ruby red slippers. They finish eating. They leave the room. I'm going to take a bath, said Luca. Fernando watches a movie. Your turn. Luca watches the same movie. What did you think of the movie? asked Fernando. They are sitting in the family room. It was awesome. I liked all the explosions. I liked the part where the samurai guy cut ninja guy... Cut the ninja guy's head off with, with a sword, explained Fernando. They both yawn. I'm tired. I'm tired as well. They go to their rooms. They sleep. All right. And then that's it for this chapter. Hope you guys enjoyed Thirsty for the USA, Chapter 1, The Decent Club. Um, this book is available on Amazon for $9.99. It is by Kelly Lees, myself. And I will see you guys next time. Bye now.